everybody, you're very welcome to beginner two course of Shano singing. Um, in this course, I'm going to work a little bit more, I suppose, and go deeper into what I have done in the first course. So I would encourage you, if you haven't done the first course, maybe just to go back um, and do that course before continuing on to this course, because you might have some questions and queries about things like ornamentation and breathing and pronunciation, which I kind of went into briefly in the last course. So if you've done the first course, that's great. We're going to work a little bit more on those key features. Um, so my name is Nelly Fronin and I am a Shanos singer. I have been singing in the Shanos style of singing since I was a very young girl. And I'm very fortunate that I have been able to perform all over the country here in Ireland and all over the world. I sing with a traditional band called Danu and I tour in the States with them quite often. Um, so in this course, I'm going to be focusing on songs in the Irish language. And I come from a Gaeltacht area in County Cork, where Irish language is my first uh, language. So I spoke Irish when I was growing up and I still speak Irish um, to this day. And a lot of the songs I would sing come from my locality down there in Moosegree in County Cork. So just to note as well in terms of my range and I suppose the keys that I will be singing some of these songs in, they might not necessarily suit your range or the key might be too high, might be too low. So what I would suggest you to do would be to listen to the song, become familiar with the melody, um, become familiar with the ornamentation and then maybe press pause and then sing the song in a key that is better suited to your voice and to your range. And that's the thing about traditional Irish singing and Shano singing, we don't start on any particular key, as in we don't get a note from an instrument. You just start wherever feels most comfortable for your voice and for your range. So please feel free to do that at home. So as I mentioned, we're going to do a few songs in the Irish language. And um, I'm really hoping that what you have learned and picked up in the first module, that we can really work a little bit more on and develop you, making you more comfortable as a singer in this style of singing. 